Well, NASA is constantly monitoring what's happening in our solar system and beyond, but when it comes to forecasting change on our planet, they're protecting the Kennedy Space Center from the effects of climate change. The space agency has several projects in the works to protect all of KSC's valuable assets. Things like rising sea levels they're concerned about. News 6's James Barbero shows us work being done to make sure Earth's current climate problems don't impact future space exploration plans. As close as you can get to a rocket that's been to space, as teams transport a SpaceX Falcon 9, other workers restore Kennedy Space Center's first line of defense from the sea, the sand dunes. The primary purpose of our dune project is to protect our inland infrastructure, primarily from storage surge and uh, inland flooding events. Don Dankert with KSC's Environmental Planning Office says this three-mile restoration project should finish this year. This work follows the 2016 and 2017 hurricanes, and NASA says if rising sea levels damage the beach in the future, it would rebuild the dunes again. We're looking at that uh, in a long-term approach. Keith Britton is on the Oviedo City Council, and he's also a KSC senior project manager. He says the good news is if sea levels rise here an estimated three feet over the next 60 or 70 years, KSC's buildings would still not be flooded out. The bottom line is we're not really threatened at this time, but now's the time to start looking at how we're going to mitigate uh, sea level rise when it does occur. Britain says engineers are updating floodplain maps to make sure new buildings are built above any possible flood event. Plans to keep what NASA calls the world's premier spaceport protected. It's a long-term project, something that we'll continue to study and monitor into the future and then make those determinations at that time if additional shoreline restoration is needed or warranted. In the past 20 years, NASA says 19 of those years are among the hottest years on record. And about the sea level rise, the global average, NASA says, in the last 100 years is 7 inches. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.